Thank you, Brett. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Axel Garcia. Can you find me there? Uh, I am the irrigation specialist. Uh, as you can see here, we have several uh, trials uh, as regarded to irrigation. Uh, most of them are kind of high tech, but uh, we are looking at two ways to provide information to our producers. Uh, one is the applied research, uh, and the other one is a little bit more basic. Uh, the overall objective of these projects are to study uh, drought tolerance, in this case for corn. Uh, you might think that uh, we know everything about drought tolerance for corn, but basically what happens is that uh, Wyoming has a really unique environment, and, uh, and it's even much more unique if, if we come to this part of the state. So it's very dry, really, really, very dry. We haven't had rainfall at all. And uh, we wonder what we should do as producers if eventually we don't have enough water at certain point during the growing season. So we are gonna try to respond to those things. Uh, the much more practical issue is related to uh, water balance. We want to know how much water the crop uses for in this environment. And also we would like to know what is the water use efficiency of the corn. Well, how, we, how do we do that? We do following different uh, methodologies. We use uh, some things that are called crop simulation models to support our field research. We also use what you see there are infrared thermometers. What we do with those equipments are to measure the temperature of the canopy. And actually, when the plant is transpiring, uh, the plant cools off. It's cooler than the temperature of the air. So those infrared thermometers are able to measure, to determine that temperature in the canopy. The information is sent every certain period of time to a station that you can see there in the middle of the experiment. And via radio, the information is sent directly to our office. Uh, this work is uh, part of the research uh, of uh, Marcelo Abrita. He is my PhD student. So, uh, so he is going to develop this project during four years. He started just now this season. This system here is uh, surface drip irrigated. It's a system that uh, we installed this year. And the reason uh, why we are using drip irrigation for corn here is mostly because we need to know exactly the amount of water that we are applying to the crop. So by having this system, we can do that very easy. And uh, if you need to know a, a little bit more about the specifics of that, you should ask Marcelo. He's the one that is uh, running all the programs in his computer. I just come from time to time to his office and see whether or not everything is OK. <laughs> Sometimes, actually, he corrects me. But, uh, what else? Uh, as uh, Dr. has said, we have several experiments similar to this one, and this is on the surface strip. We have another one over there, it's the subsurface strip, and we have a third one far away there in the, in the sprinkler system. One of the practical results we've gotten so far is that, for example, we compared uh, yield of corn produced on the these systems with the flooded one. Uh, in terms of yield, we got pretty much the same, but the water use efficiency of these irrigation systems is really very high, for the crops is very high, and uh, we were able to reduce the amount of water that the crop needs in more than four times. I mean, 25% of the water that we are using, 25% uh, of the water we use uh, in a flooded irrigation is the one we are using here at most. So as you can see, the crop looks really very healthy. And uh, we are expecting this year to have even, even a little bit more yield than the other uh, irrigation systems. Uh, this is what I have for you in this first stop. Uh, if you have any questions, please uh, feel free. Uh, so yes, sir. Nitrogen rate, I don't remember. Marcelo? I think we have five. Here was kind of 150, almost, pounds per acre. 150 pounds per acre. Yeah. Any other question? Have you had any trouble with these hoses 
clogging up with weeds? Well, it's the uh, first time, and this is on surface. Uh, I don't think we will have problems right now. Uh, it's first year, I mean. I mean, um, from uh, moss and such in the irrigation water. No, we don't. Uh, do you know? It's from a well. Yeah, it's from a well. Um, yeah, yeah, good point. Thank you. So you might just tell the other trainer what your question was. Excuse me? What was the question? Oh. Yeah, the question was whether or not we had some problems with clogging emitters here due to uh, weeds or something like that. But the water is a, it's a well water, so it's no problem so far. Any other question? Is yes, there any plan? Uh, certainly water use efficiency is one of the budgets, budgets that you're looking at. What about the economics of, of this system compared to conventional? Uh, Mike Moore is asking about the economics of this as compared to conventional. Uh, we don't have yet, of course, it's first year, but we plan to. We plan to, to look at that as well. Good. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Sure. Yes, sir. The, I think the well water maybe is uh, uh, colder than the natural water. Uh, is there a difference to the well water and the natural water? Yes, the quality, uh, mainly. To the, to the uh, coal's production. Yes. Well, there is one thing here. We don't get rainfall at all. Hopefully, we don't. We won't get today. <laughs> but <laughs> we don't get rainfall at all. So the corn approximately needs 400 millimeters during the whole season. Uh, Divided by 25 gives you inches. Uh, here, if you do not irrigate, you don't produce actually. Yeah. But uh, the difference in water, the rainfall or well water is mainly the quality. Rainfall is much better than, than we were. The difference, I mean, is the difference to the production. Oh, the production? Uh, yeah. Well, well, water and the. the no, I don't know. I don't know, but uh, probably there is not a huge uh, difference. I, 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 I saw that you are the. Uh, yes. Irrigation tax. <laughs> yes, but uh, we shouldn't have too much difference. Uh, the question here is whether or not there are differences in yield with uh, rainfall. Water or well water? Oh, no, no, rainfall. Just uh, the natural, natural wa water. Natural water? Uh, yes, uh, channel water. Canal water. Oh, uh, canal, canal water. water. OK. Sorry. Difference is between uh, ditch water and uh, uh, yeah. well water. Well, well the, the, main, the main difference is quality still. Uh, yes. yes. Quality and the, the temperature. Of course, yes. Temperature as well. 